Hello friends, welcome to my channel. From today, we're going to learn uh, important derivations from BSc first year physics. So from unit one, we shall start from unit one. And in this video, we shall discuss about Gauss divergence theorem. I shall explain you in easy way. Let's start with the definition of Gauss divergence theorem. Gauss divergence theorem states that the surface integral I'll, I shall explain you the definition also divergence of f dot dv fine Gauss divergence theorem states that the surface integral of the vector field f enclosed by the surface s okay the surface integral of the vector field f enclosed by the surface s suppose if this is the surface s if this is your area vector ds and suppose this is your vector field f then the surface integral of this vector field over this surface is equal to the volume integral suppose this will have if this will have particular volume so it will be equal to the volume integral of divergence of f enclosed by that surface s okay so that volume will be the volume occupied within that surface s fine so what is divergence actually divergence is nothing divergence is simply flux it is the flux divided by volume okay flux divided by volume is termed as divergence so now we shall prove it I repeat the definition the surface integral of a vector field F over that surface is equal to the volume integral of the divergence of the vector field over the volume enclosed by that surface fine so we shall learn proof here so in proof first of all let V be the volume let this v this is your diagram let v be the volume and f with the vector field okay vector field so then what will be the flux flux will be by definition flux will be f dot ds right flux will be the surface integral of f dot ds right it is by definition and suppose if let b1 and b2 be the two parts of volume suppose you think that this volume now we have divided it into two parts b1 b2 and was by surfaces s1 s2 okay two parts of volume and closed by surface says s1 and s2 respectively then what will be the flux through s1 flux through s1 will be f dot d s1 it's very easy right and what will be the flux through surface 2 it will be f dot d s2 right this is your flux through s2 now what will be the total flux total flux is flux through h1 plus flux through h2 just you need to add up these two so flux through s1 plus flux through s2 with a total flux then it s1 f dot ds1 this is your h1 right plus h2 f dot ds2 now suppose if this v if this volume v if this volume v is divided into n equal parts okay n parts if this volume v is divided into large number of parts suppose say n suppose if this volume v is divided into v1 v2 v3 vi vn if it is divided into large number of parts say n and closed by surfaces 
S1, S2, S3, SI, SN, okay, respectively. Then, then what will be the flux? Now, your flux will be, flux will be, this will be F dot DH1 plus while when it was divided into two parts it was flux to s1 plus flux to s2 now when it is divided into n equal parts then it will be flux to s1 plus s2 plus s3 plus s4 will go on till n parts right it will be s2 f dot ds2 then it will go on like this and it will come here si because I is present here so f dot ds i plus it will go on till n through s n f dot ds n and this can be written as summation of s i f dot i is equals to 1 to n f dot dsi it can be written like this right because what is i i goes from 1 to 1 to n right it is divided into n equal parts then f dot dsi through summation you can connect this and now further please note it down till here okay fine i shall solve here only so this will become now flux is equals to flux is equals to now summation of i is equals to 1 to n now it is like this right f dot dsi i did nothing i just wrote the same now can i i can divide here by vi i divided here and multiplied here by vi 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 will get cancelled out so there is no sense i can do it right but why i did is i already told you divergence is nothing but a flux divided by volume and this is your flux this is your volume flux divided by volume will give you divergence and summation of volume will give the divergence of f dot dv summation of volume will give you the volume integral and flux divided by volume will give you divergence okay so this is what what is flux what is phi where is phi phi is nothing but phi is what from here from 1 f dot ds right that means instead of phi i can write here surface integral of f dot ds is equals to the this is your volume okay volume integral of divergence of f dot dv this is what the called diver gauss divergence theorem and you have proved here so thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe my channel here you'll get new videos every day so we shall start the most important derivations for physics for basic first year thank you